What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Good Lock 2024. If you guys watch my channel, you know I absolutely love Samsung's Good Lock suite of applications for customizing your Galaxy device. It's actually one of the reasons that I cannot use an iPhone. My iPhone 15 Pro Max, I just cannot use as a daily phone because Good Lock has so much customization and actually why I can't use any other Android phone because Good Lock is just that amazing. I'm gonna tell you guys what new features are coming. We're gonna read Samsung's press release. We're gonna get the hype machine rolling. It's coming out in a few weeks with One UI 6.0 stable version. Before we do that, I wanna thank my son Jonathan for giving us a couple animals to hang out. We've got the lizard, the tiger. We always appreciate him for giving us something to hang out in the video. I also want to remind you guys that if you are interested in taking your passion to the next level, if you love mobile gaming and you want to learn to program and develop games yourself, my sponsors at Southern New Hampshire University can help out. They have an online BS in game programming and development. You can go to snhu.edu slash Springer. Um, find out more information by just filling out this form right here. It links right to the game programming development degree. Put in your first name, last name, phone, zip code, email, get info. Someone will contact you to give you more information specific to the program and also kind of tell you, you know, what it's all about, what they're all about. Um, I do know they have programs, you know, and degree programs starting all the time. The next one starts on October 21st. You can see some of the statistics for this specific degree here as well, and also some of the courses that you can take for this particular degree. Now, the best thing about SNHU is that you can do everything online. You can do it on your own schedule, so you can really take your passion to the next level with a degree in game development and design. And in addition to that, 24-7 online accessibility. Again, you can get in whenever you want super low tuition rates, and uh, multiple term starts, like I said, so you can do it whenever you want. Go ahead and fill out the form in the description or the pinned comment. Again, snhu.edu slash Springer to get started today. And we do appreciate snhu.edu for being sponsors on the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about it today. This is going to be huge. Good luck 2024 is coming. A lot of places reported on it, but one of my favorite guys who covers Samsung stuff, Tarun Vats, over on... Um, over on Twitter, I'll drop his link below. He reported on this, the uh, new Good Lock 2024 features. He got this from the official Samsung forums in Korean, and he translated this to English. So let's go through it here. There's a bunch of stuff here. The first thing is, which we can see at the top, HomeUp is undergoing major structural improvements it's to support a wider variety of styles. I'm really hoping, let me, let me tell you what I'm really hoping, we all know that I made the video about the Z Fold 5 and the Z Flip 5 getting the vertical app drawer, and then Samsung pushed out an update that actually removed it from Home Up in a future version. In fact, I actually have my Flip right here. I still have the old version installed. Let me get into my Flip here. I have the old version of Home Up installed, and I can see right there, vertical app drawer. But obviously, people who installed that update removed it. I kept the same APK. I'm hoping that means that foldables are gonna get official support. That would be amazing because it says more types of gestures and styles as well. And they're also redesigning the structure of One UI based on Android structure. There are some parts of the home screen that felt a little unstable during the beta process. And they said that they're trying to figure it out. So I'm hoping, hoping that means that we're going to see this on the fold. Um, that's pretty much what's there. They also said that there's going to be some changes to Dex and the way they integrate support for the keyboard and the mouse. Um, and that you'll be able to play around with this on the tablet soon which is really exciting. Um, the next thing down here, theme park, getting structural implementation changes to change the theme of the terminal. Every time you install a theme, you may have wondered why it takes so long installing an app. By changing the structure, they're gonna improve the inconveniences to get a faster load time. So what they're saying is, whenever you do a theme in theme park and you install like an icon pack, it does take a really, really long time. And so they're trying to improve that, get some higher load times, things like that. Um, and I think that's going to be a huge change that will really make people more excited about installing custom icon packs. It says, due to this change, some features, icon shape changes, and keyboard wallpaper will not be provided when 6.0 is released. We'll keep you updated via Good Luck as we work as soon as it's supported. So this means you may not be able to change your icon shape. It doesn't say anything about icon pack, so we don't know. Right when we get the One UI 6.0 stable update, those may not work in theme park. So that would be kind of a bummer, but if they're making improvements, you know, I'm okay with that. It says Good Lock 2024 will launch simultaneously with the official 6.0 distribution. Great news, which means we should be able to use the bulk of all of our favorite Good Lock modules uh, right when we get One UI 6.0 beta, which is obviously great. Um, they've seen posts about inconvenience installing apps with every upgrade, so they try to reduce the steps. 
So they're basically saying they're trying to integrate Good Lock a little bit more with the One UI updates, which is great. They also have three huge updates, including one new app that I've talked about on the channel, Edge Lighting Plus, which was introduced on the foldables, will now be coming to the S line. I told you guys it would come, and it says it'll be introduced in earnest, which means to all the different phones in their lineup. So you're gonna be able to get it on there. It, it has all these icons that can kind of cascade on the screen when you get notifications. You can even change it to the app icon itself. Really, really cool feature um, and a video that I, I really you know hope you would take a look at. I'll drop a link below. It's a really cool new app. Sound Assistant's going to get some new decorating for the volume panel and also some different ways to change the control of the volume. Um, so that should be interesting. No specifics on what that means right now. Wonderland, which has changed the unique lock screen effect, is preparing to enable new transition effects when going between the always on display and lock screen. That's something a lot of us have asked for for a long time. New ways to transition between AOD and lock screen, home screen. More transitions, more animation stuff. We've been asking for it. Samsung is delivering. And they're preparing to provide more detailed information about why notifications are not ringing through nice catch. That's another improvement that's not really a cosmetic one. And it says this is being prepared for 6.1. So they're already talking about One UI 6.1. Basically, the inconvenience of Lockstar clock face having structure that's separate from the lock screen. They're going to make it so Lockstar can be completely integrated with the lock screen. And they think it's a big task. Um, so they say it's going to take a little while. And then they also have Kids Cafe as a developing feature that lets you map desired functions to keyboard gestures and designate keyboard touch sounds as desired. I'm guessing this is mainly a, a new module that we'll see sometime after 6.1. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely excited for Good Luck 2024 and One UI 6.0 beta. Let me know what you guys are most looking forward to in the comments section below. Huge shout out again to our sponsor, snhu.edu. If you're looking to take your passion for mobile gaming via gaming programming and development bachelor's degree, take that to the next level. Go to snhu.edu. It's also in the pinned comment description. Appreciate you guys checking it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.